we, we soften, we soften the demands of a holy God. We've taken these, these sins that offend God and we have reinterpreted them. We have, um, we have boiled them down to they are conditions. You just need to understand yourself and accept yourself how you really are. We've, we have so twisted the demands of God that we have, in effect, undermined the power of the gospel because why would anyone need salvation if they don't even see that they're in sin? And Paul's saying, you, listen, these are sins. And he's not, he's not trying to be provocative. This was just the culture in Corinth. And, and, and similar today, we, we might list a few extras and maybe remove some. But this was, the, this was the culture of Corinth. And what Paul's point is, okay, you wanna say you're a Christian. All right, listen, Christianity means you've accepted Christ as Lord, that you have submitted yourself to his kingdom role. He put his spirit inside of you to change you so that you can live according to his kingdom role. And don't you dare for a minute think that you can say one thing with your lips and live however you want with your life. That's why so many people don't even take the church seriously because they see people walking all over our culture saying with their lips that they're believers in Christ and then they're cheating on their wives, they're cussing out their employees and they're living a life that is totally contradictory to the kingdom values and they wonder why they don't have anything to do with the church because they have displayed, that person has displayed that the gospel doesn't make any difference. The gospel doesn't revolutionize my life but what God has done is he's chosen the church. If you're a believer, he's chosen you to display with your life to your family, to your coworkers, to your unbelieving friends and neighbors that the gospel does change everything and here's how.